Edward Dewey was responsible for the formation of the foundation for the study of cycles. He studied cycles from the 1940s through the 1970s. In thousands of studies he found that in all series that humans accumulated, cycles could be found. There are common cycles periods that exist in many seemingly unrelated fields of study. These cycles with common periods exhibit cycle synchrony, meaning that they reach their peaks and troughs at the same time. Many of the commonly reported cycles exhibit simple ratios of 2 and 3 between them. As shown in this diagram, starting from 17.75 years, Dewey produced ratios of 2 and 3, the 2's running diagonally up to the left and down to the right, and the 3's the other way. And all these common cycles, periods and years that are underlined here were found in a number of different uh, fields of study. I've extended Dewey's table here to run from 586 million years down to 0.017 years. As well as his many ratios of 2 and 3, I've added a few other ratios. Let's expand this a little bit to make it clearer. The first group of cycles starts at 586.24 million years, and after ratios of 11, 5 and 13, we're down to the range of Dewey's table, which is the middle section of this table. There are 5 and 7 ratios that do link cycles that Dewey found, but he hadn't made this connection himself. According to the harmonics theory, the common cycles should have many ratios of 2 and 3 and certain other prime numbers. This graph shows a huge range of 10 to the 40 in cycles. Expanding part of that can be seen the many ratios of 2 and 3 expected, going 2, 2, 3, 2, 2, 3, 2, 5 and so on. Each of the ratios of 5 marked in green as we step along, we can see there's a dip in how strong the cycles are expected to be, and a peak in the areas underlined by red, which are where there are many ratios of 2 and 3. At certain points, ratios of 11 and 13 and eventually a 17 also appear. This is the predicted pattern of the harmonics theory. When we look at the detailed pattern, this shows a full cycle of the universe as expected by the harmonic theory, broken into 12 sections. We can look at just one of these sections, uh, which is shown at the bottom, and then half of that section is expanded and shown above it. We can see there's a great deal of cell similarity, so it's not easy to identify the longest cycle. But because of the ratios of 11 and 13 found both in the predictions and in the actual cycles, it's possible to make this analysis that shows from the range of 10 billion years through to more than a million million times that much. The, the little part at the left shows where there is a very good fit between the predictions and the observations expanded above. In this part we see a particularly big peak with a variety of other ones showing the typical harmonics pattern. This very largest peak is 1.482.1824 times 10 to 23 years. This, I claim, is the cycle of the universe.